let's take a look at where we can find the session player within Terramind. Here I am on the dashboards page looking at the online employees widget. On the right here, we have these camera icons. Anytime you see a camera icon within Terramind, if you click on it, it will take you to the session player. We can also locate the session player under BI reports, select any of the BI reports, scroll down to the plain grid below, select the event you would like to investigate, click the three dots and hit view record. Next, we can go to the employees tab. We're going to locate the employee that we want to investigate. Anytime you see the camera icon next to their name and photo, that means the employee is currently online and we have access to the live session player. Down below, we also have the ability to look at session players from activities that the user was participating in in the past. Let's take a look. So here's what the session player looks like. We have the ability to play and pause the session player. We can also rewind and fast forward up to 64 times speed in order to quickly look back and investigate something that might have happened in the past. We also have the ability to play the sound or mute it. We have this orange dot here that we can use to drag along the timeline to look for the exact timestamp that we are looking for. Here on the right, we also have the time and date, which we can change or update to our needs. If we know that an incident occurred on a specific day or around a specific time, we can change that here to take us back to the exact moment that the incident occurred to conduct some further investigation. Up here on the left, we have the computer that the user is on as well as their name. Here we have the calendar button where we can go back in time and look at any specific date that we would like to conduct an investigation. We also have the camera icon here. If we click it, it will take a screenshot of the user's screen. We can download a copy to our desktop in order to use in the future for further investigation. We have the cloud icon here. If we click it, it will download a copy of the video. Here's the video parameters pop-up. We will select the date that we want the video to be pulled from, as well as the exact time. We can also pick the video speed and frames per second. Next, we will decide what email we want the video to get sent to, and if we want to enable or disable sound. Please note, the longer the video, the longer the export might take. Up here, we also have the bell icon. If we click it, we can see the notifications, activities, and tags. The notifications here show a history of any rules that may have been violated. If we click on the rule, it will take us to the exact moment in time the rule was violated. We also have these orange locator buttons at the bottom that we can click to take us to the point in time that other rules were violated. Next, we have the activities tab. This shows a history of any websites and applications the employee might have been using for the day. This can be helpful if we notice the employee has a lower activity percentage for the day, as we can look back and see what meetings they were in, how often they were in meetings, or any other activity that might lead to a lower activity percentage. To the right of that, we have tags. We can add a custom tag and pin it anywhere in the video. All we need to do is name the tag, select the time and date, and add any notes. Tags can be useful to mark a specific point in the video that you might want to investigate with the stakeholder at a later time. Finally, we have the search bar here that we can search any of the tags that we have marked previously. Next, let's take a look at the live session player. We know that the session player is live because the live button at the top is orange. We have similar buttons below, such as the ability to pause and play the video, as well as enable or disable sound. We can use the orange dot to drag back in the past and see what the user has been working on previously. But since this is a live view, we won't be able to fast forward. Here we have the triangular warning button. This will send out a control out delete command to the user's computer, which will bring up the Windows Task Manager screen so you can access options to change the account password without having the computer in hand. To the right of that, we have the lock button. If you click this, it will freeze the user's input. They will not be able to type or move their mouse. This could be helpful if you are watching a live session and notice an email is about to be sent externally and want to put a stop to it immediately. 
To the right of that, we have the remote control button. Through clicking this button, you will gain access to the entire screen of the user and have full remote control. We have seen this be helpful for our clients that use Teramind for IT purposes, as it can help IT managers remote into the computer to help resolve any hardware problems. And that's Teramind Session Player.